Hello, Randy Rain here. Time for a little bit of magic. And this time I'm going to use a simple single piece of rope. But to first, you have to understand everything about a rope. There is the right end, there is the left end, and this section right here that's going up into the hand that's called the center or the middle. And that's what makes a rope. Except if you're in magic. Now, if you're in magic, it's totally different because you guys you have your right end, you have your left end, and you bring them up to equal. So you have the right end and left end in the middle, and then there's well, there's that end, and that's called the center end. Now, in magic, we have the right end, we have the left end, and we have the center end. Now, all three of them are connected to the middle, and so you have a rope with three ends. But there's also that end. And so you now have a rope with four ends. And then once again you have the uh, see you have the left end, you have the center left, then you have the right, and then this would be also the center right. Now to make this even more difficult to understand, it's actually two ropes. You see, there's a small rope here and there's a long rope there or it's two equal length ropes. But if it's two equal length ropes, the, pr the trouble with that is when you have two equal length ropes, well, you, that means you have three middles in magic. That's You end up with three middles to a rope. Now to fix this, you place this end over here and you place this end over here. And what that does is it creates a big mess. So you need to start over, go back to the very beginning. This, hi, I'm Randy Ray. And this is a trick with a single piece of rope. Now, we could make a rope with four ends, or I can take the rope just like this, show you, and we'll make a rope with four knots, just like so. And that's the magic of the rope with four ends.